Hello everybody, so today we are just going to do a quick little maintenance job. So we have behind 4345, which is our cow feeding mixer wagon tractor. Um, now normally we wouldn't be feeding this time of year, but everybody knows it's a drought, we're on silage, and we have a little issue with the tractor. Right, so we're sat in the tractor now, and for a start, there's no air in the seat, so I'm sat on the floor. Right, so the issue is, the hand throttle is here, um, foot throttle obviously under your foot. Um, now there is a cable joining the hand throttle to the foot throttle, and then a second cable taken going from the foot throttle to the injector pump down on the engine. Um, now the problem is the hand throttle cable is broken. So what we've got to do, somehow, there's an access panel here. So we've got to take that off, swap the cable, plug it down through the floor, connect it up to the foot throttle um, it's not gonna be it, it, hopefully it's a fairly easy job fairly quick job I'm not actually sure how much of this you're gonna see because I don't know how much I'm gonna see never mind where I can stick a camera but anyway we're gonna give it a go so let's go and get in the yard uh, and make a start and hopefully while we're there we'll give the mixer a grease round as well just cause it'll be next to the workshop okay so we're up in the cab underneath the cab now so this is the cable coming down up there somewhere and you can clearly see we've got way too much slack uh, and then there's a second cable takes the takes the movement on round to the fuel pump but we're going to change that somewhere but we're not going to change it today um, I have changed this one before probably 11-12 years ago so this isn't original but uh, yeah it has been done before Okay, so we've got some access in there now. We've got bits of old window, bits of straw, and I can just about see what I'm doing up in the front here. Be better if this panel was another six inches forward, but it's not. That's what was holding it on. Here is our broken end, so that hook fits the lever, a hole, so that hook fits through a hole in the lever, and the cable goes up in the bottom there, and it's just snapped off right where it fits in. Can't see the end, the other end, where's he gone? Um, oh, he's down there. Right, I'm gonna get the vacuum cleaner, have a bit of a tidy up while we got chance. Right, so here is our new cable. If I can get in it. So here is the hook end, like what we've broken. So that comes up to our lever here. Other end is just a loop that fits over a pin down on the bottom. So looking at this, fortunately there is no nut on here. So hopefully this end should just pull out from down below and then we fix our length on this one because uh, I can't actually remember changing it. I remember it breaking last time, but I don't remember changing it. So I might not have done it, I can't remember. So let's get underneath, see what we've got to do to, to get that old one out. All right, so hopefully you can see what we're looking at. So we've got to pull this clip off. And 
not lose it on the other side of the yard. And that's free. And somehow we've got to work out how that top end comes out. Because I don't know. Ah, here we go. He's out. Easy as all that. Very frayed. Broken end. So, hopefully, all we've got to do now is feed the good one back up through the hole that I can't see. And hope for the best. Right, so that top end now I think is fixed. So what we'll do, we'll set the nut on here. We'll pull the grommet off the end first. Take the uh, lock nut off. And then set this back nut to the same as the one that just came off. Right, so then it's just a simple case of slip that on. Remember where we put our little clippy thing. And then our little clip that hopefully won't fly off across the yard, never to be seen again. job right now let's go and finish the inside bit right so we're up inside now I can see me showing you a little bit there is a rubber rubber grommet over the end to keep the dust out these little clips this is going to be the iffy one this is the one that if we drop it we're never going to see it again Right, so hopefully now we have some movement. Let's give it a go. Oh, doesn't start in gear. Let's go again. There we go. 
put our panel on and that'll do for the cable it is finally fixed so not as bad as I was expecting but we just couldn't see a lot right so service access on these things is not brilliant but it's not that bad we've got to drop all this pipe carrier thingy out of the way which is held in with a bolt And then we've got a little fiddly little nut here to undo. And there we are, that is the inner workings of the mixer wagon. So, PTO shaft comes in here. There's a shaft and a sprocket down in there somewhere, um, which is driving a chain. So it drives that kind of idler sprocket. Um, it also drives behind this bearing is the auger, the discharge auger. Uh, and there's a sprocket on there that, that turns the auger. And that idler has a second chain on, or a second sprocket driving this big chain. It comes all up round the big paddle wheel, so the shaft is running relatively, relatively quickly, like 400 RPM ish. Um, that gears down slightly to run the discharge auger, and then gears down massively to run the uh, the rotor or the mixing paddle at a bit. Is it something like 11, 12 RPM, something like that? This this big cog to turn and then obviously here is a big shaft everything is running on so it is quite simple everything is big it's quite well built um, although I have to say it's not as reliable as the original easy feeders we have had bother with various chain tensioners and this shaft here um, we've lost we've lost we've changed a couple of bearings on this shaft and we also had to weld up or we'll build up with weld and remachine Summit on this shaft in here, I can't remember exactly what now, but on the old easy feeder we didn't touch none of the drives, none of the drive system, but this one not quite as good. So there we go, these two bearings on this shaft, they were uh, remote greasers down here somewhere when it was new, uh, but we've done away with them. We're pumping it straight into the bearing, we know it's getting it, and that's probably what caused the failures, relying on the little pipes that we didn't know where it was ending up. So now we just poke about in the back, connect, connect straight to the bearing, and now we know the grease is going where it needs to go. Right, so on the back of the machine there is uh, a bearing on each of these two shafts, so they've been done. Final job, we've got to put some oil into the oiling system, which is a little bottle you probably can't see just up behind here. So I'll top that up, and then that will be fully serviced.
we go, that is it. So, just leaves me to shut the doors up. And uh, that is it, job done. Don't forget, Vintage Thursday this week, <coughs> we are going to get the uh, 400 Combine out in the field. So last, th last Vintage Thursday, we got it running, uh, got it serviced up, ready to go. Thursday this week, come in, we're gonna go Combine in. So, don't forget to watch that. Subscribe, and then you won't miss it. So, we're getting very low on battery now, so I'm gonna shut the doors up <coughs> in a minute. So it just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.